Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt Karma, founder of Total Body Transformation Gap. And in this video, what I'm going to do is answer a question that just got sent in by Liz L. Liz L. I don't know how to pronounce that name properly. But basically she went on to say, Hey Matt, love your videos. Can you please help me out with this problem? Every time I get bored, I start to eat. I start to overeat. Can you please help me out? What are some tips and recommendations? And I know this is a very common challenge that a lot of people go through. And I'm not going to be one of those people who say, well, just you, you just need to occupy your mind. You just need to find something that you enjoy doing. I know it's not as easy as that. So what I'm going to do is give you a couple of tips. I'll give you three, three tips that you can basically implement right now that's going to help you overcome that challenge. But first off, what you need to, what you need to know right now is how that pattern, that habit, is being created in your life. What you need to realize is that there are five senses, right? There is the visual sense, and this is how it all starts with you actually putting food in your mouth. This is where it all stems from. You actually eating, you actually overeating. It all comes from either one of the five senses. So one, you are, it's, it's coming from your visual sense, meaning you walk into the kitchen and you see food. That triggers you to go and eat, right? Or it comes from the auditory sense, where you hear something, like for example, I offer you food, hey, uh, Lizelle, will you, would you like some food? And then that triggers you to go and eat. Or then there is the gustatory. Now gustatory is taste, that's a taste sense. So that's when, you know, you have like a little chocolate bar. Just, you, you say to yourself, you know what, I'm just gonna have one little chocolate bar, just a little, just a little piece. But then all of a sudden, that, that, that taste is in your mouth now, and now it's triggering you to have more. So then one piece turns into two, two pieces turn into three, three pieces, pieces turn into four, four pieces turns into the whole bar of chocolate, one bar of chocolate turns into you driving to the Willy Wonka factory to eat the whole freaking thing, right? Or it's either you just imagining, it, it goes through, through the visual sense first, it, it goes through the visual and then it goes into the gustatory. So you can actually imagine yourself tasting a certain food. The next sense is olfactory. So olfactory, I always say this, I've said this in a previous video, olfactory, a perfect example of this, it, it's smell. Olfactory is smell. A perfect example of olfactory is KFC. They're very great at market, they do this on purpose. And when you drive past KFC, that smell is so strong, right? And that's because they're putting that smell out there because it's triggering you to go and eat. Now the fifth one is what's triggering you to go and eat, and that is kinesthetic. So that's a certain type of emotion. Kinesthetic can either mean you just being legitimate, legitimate, I don't know how to pronounce this word probably either, legitimately hungry, and that causes you to go and eat. Or the most common thing is emotions. You feel a certain emotion, maybe it's depression, that depression t triggers you to go and eat. Or maybe it's sadness, that triggers you to go and eat. Or maybe it's, uh, maybe it's anger, that triggers you to go and eat. But for you, in this case, it's boredom. It's that feeling of boredom where you just, you know, you just don't know what to do and you say, well, I'm just going to occupy my mind with some food. It's a certain pattern. It, it, you, you've, you've, you've done it so much that it's linked up into your brain right now. Every single time that you feel bored, you probably do the exact same thing. You know, some people masturbate. Some people go and take drugs. Some people smoke cigarettes. For you, it's you go and eat. Every time that you feel that feeling of boredom, boom, straight in the fridge. And you know this, you know this pattern starts running when this happens. When, you know, you open the fridge up, you look in the fridge for about a good 20 seconds, you close the fridge, and then you say, okay, I'm just going to open the cupboard up. You look in the cupboard for some more food, nothing's really that you like, so you close the fridge, and then you just kind of walk around, and then you go back to the fridge, and then you open the fridge up, and then nothing there that you like, and then all of a sudden you're just in that pattern of just looking around, looking for food. And then finally you find something that you love eating, and then all of, you, you just go into that pattern of overeating, or just eating a lot of food, okay? Because right now, it, it's totally unconscious. That's for most people. I always say, most people eat totally unconscious. They're not actually aware of either what they're eating, or how much they're actually eating. So let me break things down in, very, in a very easy uh, way to understand on how to change this pattern. The very first thing that you must know is that the first step to change in anything is awareness. It's very hard for you to change something if you're not aware of it. So you must first identify your pattern. Right now you know that you have that pattern, but you must first become consciously aware of when you go into that state, that emotional state of boredom, and, you, and that trigger goes off for you to go and eat. So what I recommend to you for the next 21 days, and the reason why I say 21 days, is because it usually takes 21 days to, in, in order for your brain to make new connections, to either make or break a habit, yeah? 
So for 21 days, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go throughout your day normally, and I want you to become consciously aware of your self-talk, the little voice inside your head that when you, when you feel bored, and the little voice says, let's go and eat, or let's go and have some food whatever that little voice says. Become consciously aware of that because that, that alone can be, uh, can be good enough for you to change that pattern, that habit. But then that's not good enough. You need to first need to go into the second step. And the second step is to interrupt the pattern. Now, what do I mean by that? To keep things simple, I've got this CD here because I wanted to give you a clear demonstration of what I exactly mean. So think of this CD here, right? Now, on this CD, there is a certain pattern installed into this disc. And that's why, if I, if I go to put this on a CD player, it's going to play a certain uh, sound, right? And the reason is because in each CD, there's a uniquely designed pattern on each disc in order for it to play that certain sound. And what you need to realize, you probably think, what the hell does this have to do with changing this habit? Well, think of it like this. You, think of your brain like this CD right here. You have a certain pattern installed into your CD, into your brain, into your CD, that associates boredom with eating, okay? Now what would happen if I get like a, a knife or a needle or something sharp and I get this CD and I see the pattern and I scratch it and scratch it and scratch it and scratch it and scratch the shit out of this CD. What's going to eventually happen when I put this CD back on the CD player? Is it going to play? No, it's not. The reason why is because that pattern installed on this CD has been interrupted so much that there's no way it can go back to playing its original sounds. And just as you can scratch the CD to interrupt the pattern to not play that sound, you can interrupt the pattern in your brain, in your neurology, to not go back to that same habit. Here are some ways that you can do this. Let me give you two ways that you can interrupt your pattern. The first way is by visualization. Okay? So for example, you're in, let's say you're feeling bored and you go to have chocolate. Okay? That's your go-to food when that emotion comes up. What I want you to do, and let me preface this by saying that this is going to require discipline. This is going to require, it's definitely going to require discipline because sometimes the urge can be so strong that you just go and say, stuff it, I don't want to do this, I'm just going to have chocolate. So what happens, you need to have discipline before you do this. And what I want you to do is stop for a second before you have that, before you have that chocolate or whatever food that you have and I want you to stop and visualize that food and a dog shitting on the food. The reason why I say that, this may sound a bit crazy, but the reason why I say that is because when you do that, you are, unless you like shit, but what happens is when you do that, you're associating pain now to having that instead of pleasure. All human behavior is, is, is driven from the need to either avoid pain or the desire to gain pleasure. Right now, the reason why you feel bored is, and, and you go and eat is because unconsciously you feel that by eating, it's causing you pleasure. Well, what you need to do is interrupt your pattern to going, okay, now I feel bored, but if I have that food, that's gonna, that's gonna associate pain to me now. So when you visualize yourself, and when you visualize chocolate or whatever food that you're having, and you see a dog literally shitting on that food, all of a sudden, that's like getting a big knife on that pattern and going, whoosh, a massive slash in that, in that disc, right? So that's the first way, visualize certain things. Maybe you could either, either if you have like a cheese sandwich, visualize that cheese being rotten and visualize just seeing all mold on the bread or whatever it is. Make, associate so much pain to having that thing. That's the first step. The second thing that you can do is by rapidly changing your physiology. So the next time that you feel that urge or that thought process comes up where you're feeling bored and you wanna go and eat, just start to just jump up now, or just, do, just do star jumps. Just do something weird, out of the ordinary, that just changes your physiology. Because what happens is, by rapidly changing your physiology, just that little subtle thing is a massive slash. However, sometimes I wouldn't say it's as powerful as visualize seeing that chocolate and a dog literally shitting on it. Because that, that's associating more pain to that. But that's not all. Now you've interrupted the pattern, you now want to install a new disc. Because the reason why so many people fail at making new changes is because they try to, think of it like this. If I have this, if I have this disc and I put it on a CD player, it's gonna play a certain sound, right? But what's going to happen if I try to install a new disc on top of this CD and try to make this CD play? It's not gonna work. The reason why is because this CD is still there, it's still installed. And what happens is so many people try to make a new habit, a habit, that's a new word. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from. Habit. Most people try to make a new habit 
without breaking their old one first. So what you want to do is first interrupt the old pattern and then, in, and then install a new disc, a new empowering pattern. And here's the interesting thing. So what I mean by this, let me keep things simple. You, you, bro you, bro you break your pattern and then you install a new one. So one of the things that you can do instead of going eating is maybe drinking a green tea or drinking a glass of water or going for a walk or taking a deep breath or in asking a question like, what am I grateful for? And just, and just embracing the happiness of life. And here's the interesting thing. If you condition this process, and you can't just do it once, you need to do this over and over and over and over and over again. That's why I say ta do, do this for 21 days. Once you do this, here's the inter interesting thing. Your brain starts to make all these new connections. And all of a sudden, every single time that you feel bored, now what happens is the trigger for you, instead, instead of you going to overeat, instead of you going to eat chocolate, instead of you going to eat that food, you now feel the urge to go and drink green tea. You now feel the urge to go and drink a glass of water. You now feel the urge to go and do something that you love doing. Whatever pattern that you install after you throw the old one out. So that is the process. Again, step number one, become aware of the pattern. Throughout the next 21 days, become aware of when you go into that feeling of boredom to go and eat. Step number two, break your pattern. Interrupt your pattern by visualizing a dog shit on your food, literally. Or jump up and down, do star jumps. Step number three, install a new pattern and do this continuously for 21 days until it becomes a new habit. So those are the three steps. So I hope this video has served you, I hope this video has uh, helped you. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to this channel for more free videos, and until I see you in the next video, remember to love all living things, and most importantly, love thyself.